Hi. Okay. So for your, your, um, my goodness, my brain just froze. Okay. So for your English this week, we're going to be talking about combining your, um, sentences and then a little bit more about sentences. And then you're going to review, you're going to have a test. Um, I actually think I gave the test on Friday, so I have to just pull one out for you because I did give the test on Friday. So we're going to finish up chapter 15, which is sentences, sentence structure, how the sentence works, um, so that when we're moving into the next unit, it's going to be parts of sentences. So today we're going to talk about combining the subject. The subject is the first part of the sentence, the person, the place, or the thing. So if you had the word, uh, this story here, I'm going to write it for, I'm going to show you this. It's on your paper. If you had Crystal rode the pony, Janet rode the pony. Do you see how that blue, they're both the same, rode the pony? So you can just say Crystal and Janet, use that linking verb to Crystal and Janet rode the pony. So do you see how it, it put the two black together? And then that sentence structure was there. Okay, um, you also have, you could do it with other things. So like, my mom felt sad and I felt sad. So instead you can say mom and I felt sad. Okay, so you're combining the subjects, which means you're combining the first two parts of the sentence. Kiana wrote a letter, uh, Lisa wrote a letter. Kiana and Lisa wrote letters. Okay, so you're just combining those two subject parts, the, the beginning part, together with that word and. Okay, um, the next thing we're doing is combining predicates. Predicates is the last part of a sentence. So right here we have, right here you can see, Nadia is a good speller. Nadia likes to read. So because Nadia is the same, you don't have to repeat these parts. You could say Nadia is a good speller and likes to read. Do you see how that and combines the two predicates together? You can do that with all of those. So you're just looking for what's the same, what's different. You're going to put the and to the two things that are different. Okay. Um, then you're going to do run on sentences. You have to wait. You're going to be fine. Um, Han Lee has new kitten. It is really cute. Or Han Lee has a new kitten. It is really cute. Okay, those are um, the two run on sentences. Make sure that when it's like two different ideas, you don't want those two different ideas to be in one sentence. One sentence is one idea, two different, two ideas is two, two. Okay, and then you'll have a review and then you'll have your test. Mom and dad can help you read your test. They cannot help you answer the questions. All right, that's all I got for you. Bye.